What's up everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm gonna be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. The Recurve Box Mod. Oh, how I've been waiting to not do this review. Anybody out there that knows vaping and has been watching reviews already knows who Mike Vapes is. I would say that Mike Vapes is one of the top five vape reviewers of all time. I just recently had done a review on the Recurve RDA, which is the one that's sort of hourglass shaped, is big on the bottom, big on, big on the top, and then has kind of squeezed in the center, and they also had released 22 millimeter caps. However, what was missing in that whole gapage was this mod, because this mod and that RDA are supposed to go hand in hand on a side-by-side -side configuration just because, well, the both of them are called recurve, and it just makes sense to put those two together. This is actually an unregulated squonk mod. I looked on my shelf and I couldn't find one unregulated mod. Well, there is one, but it's nothing I can use to compare this to. So just a quick back brief. It's really simple to understand this. Regulated is anything where you have a screen where you can adjust the wattage up and down. But densiometer or PWM is where you can adjust the duty cycles, which is how it hits per second. Then you have mechanical mods, which are just like the tube mods or all these squonks that we've seen have come out. You basically fire a button, makes contact, good to go. Then you have unregulated. Unregulated is in a sense kind of regulated because, well, it has a lot of safety precautionary measures. The best way to tell if something is unregulated or mechanical, and this is in most cases, I'd say 99% of the time, you're going to see some type of LED or light or maybe even a screen that's showing you the voltage output. Not adjustable, it's just the way that it is. The only other squawks I can think of off the top of my head that are unregulated are going to be the Feedlink, the Luna, then this. I'm sure there's a couple other ones, but I no longer have the Feedlink because I gave that away to patrons. I no longer have the Luna because I gave that away to patrons. Now all I have is this, so I have nothing to compare this to on a side-by-side -side configuration. There's a lot of yippity yap about this device in regards to it being like the mag or it feeling, you know, kind of gooey or rubbery or whatever the case may be. But I'm here to tell you that, listen, I've dug down really, really, really deep to find any kind of flaw with this just because not that i don't like the device but it's another device from another reviewer and another company so what that means to me is find as many flaws as possible and really dig down deep it was difficult it was i'm gonna announce them when i bring it down and i'm gonna show you it and i'm gonna bring it back on top give my final thoughts on it but i'm gonna tell you this it's very very difficult to find flaws in this device so without further ado, let's bring it down. Let me show you everything inside of the box. The Watofo Recurve. Let's flip it. My t-shirt and my panties on. All right, guys, what we're looking at is the Recurve Box Mod by Watofo and Mike Vape. For the purposes of this review, I'm going to be going over the white and black rendition just because it's a little bit easier to see than it is the black rendition. And again, this is the solid black with no different accents. Multiple colors this comes in. You know, you got red and blue and white and green and purple and silver and orange, all these different color configurations. The first thing I saw when I looked at this was the penguin not because it's white and black or just because it's black but if you look up here you're gonna see the beak the head and then the body and that's on all of them it doesn't matter which color configuration you're looking at they all do exactly the same thing and then on the other side with the micro USB is it looks like it's an eyeball so we're gonna be going over the black and white I just wanted to show you what the black and white versus the black version looks like so for the purposes of the review we're gonna be going over the black and white on the bottom you have your color configuration here and that is referencing the actual outside of this I don't know what it looks like when it's blue and red if that's just gonna show the two colors up here you PC on the bottom, scratch and sniff here. This is going to be mint chocolate chip minnows, flavor and scented. Lots of stuff going on here. Big fan of chocolate chip, not so much mint, but I love a minnow. On the side of the box, everything that's inside. Top of the box, other side of the box. Here's a fun fact for you. FDA just passed the whole thing where you don't have to list the warning on the side unless there's actually e-liquid inside of it. Made in China, manufactured by Watofo, and then over here you got your little warnings. This is the kit rendition, and I'm not quite sure as to why they're considering a kit because it doesn't come with the actual dripper, the recurve RDA. 
device. We'll go over that shortly. Underneath on the bottom, the user manual, which is going to tell you all the different safety precautionary measures that this mod takes and all the safety features that it has. There is a good amount of them. You have low voltage protection. You have battery indication, a lot. And of course, I will go over that when we're looking over and going over the mod. You have an adapter here to utilize a 2650 battery. Very difficult to find. You'll find a couple LGs that are like that. I do believe Sanyo made a couple as well, but they're very rare and a lot of people aren't really using these just because, well, everybody has moved on to the 2700 and 21700 batteries. If you already have a mod that supports 21700s and you get this adapter, you'll be able to use this adapter in there because it treats it like it's a 21700, not a 20, because this extra plastic around is going to give you one more millimeter in circumference. Then you get a half eaten Oreo cookie. Looks like they took the cream off the top and the middle and the top cookie, so you only get the bottom, so make sure if you do eat this to put a little bit of mayonnaise to make up for the lack of cream. Micro USB self-explanatory. Something that they're pushing in the side of this mod is something I don't agree with, USB charging. But the way that they state it right now is that you could use this charger mod at two amps. Now, if this was a regulated mod, I would use the argument that it should have had a USB, but the fact that it's not, and it's unregulated, and it's basically like a mechanical mod, charging a battery in it is not gonna be recommended, although it is something that they're saying that it can do, they're not necessarily recommending you to charge your battery that way. Although the manual is quite large, there's really not a whole lot in it just because it is, in fact, multilingual. There's one piece that is the most important on this whole manual, and that is all the different indicators that are located behind the squonk bottle. I'm gonna freeze frame that for you so you can read it. It functions the same exact way a mech does. It just, it has to transfer the power through the chip and then to the 510. Lots of white LEDs. It would have been cool if there was different color configurations instead of it just being white. It is what it is. You can't complain. Auto cut off. Again, if you hold this button down for more than 10 seconds, it's going to shut off. And then there's the charging indication right there. By judging number six here, the way that this reads is probably after it's being fully charged, the light will totally go off because it's only indicating it with a white LED while it's charging. There's nothing else in the manual. Now, now this is what I was saying in regards to it being a penguin. Do you see it? The nose, the head, the body. Flip this around. There's your eyeball. We all know how much I love trigger finger firing mods. Yeah, no, not really. Curvature of this. First off, when you put this in your hand, it's extremely comfortable. Now I was going to attack this and say, you know what, listen, limelight, nope, gloom, nope, mag, maybe, feed link, maybe. But not so much. I had the hardest time comparing this to other mods. Although it looks like something we've seen before, I can assure you it feels nothing like them. This does not feel like the mag in your hand. It's very, very ergonomically there. And there's no battery in this, and this does have a little bit of weight to it. I am not this kind of fire right here, so this is gonna be very awkward for me to do. I much prefer to hold a mod like this, but the way that this is designed is no matter which hand you hold it in, it's not gonna be comfortable to fire with your thumb. For what you can fit on the top, 26 is no problem. 26 and a half almost goes right to the edge, still no overhang whatsoever. The spring on the 510 is very, very stiff. That is a 26 and a half, zero overhang. I know it's a little difficult to say. Let's see what a 28 looks like on the top. Now keep this in mind that this is basically a mech mod. So if you're gonna use something like a 30 millimeter or a 28 or 27, you're gonna to need to build that really low to get a good vapor production out of that. There is a little bit of overhang on that, so 28 is no dice. I don't have anything that's 27. That would be a really awkward size for a dripper. Fire button right here. Very clicky. Upon further inspection, there's this ridge right here that you can clearly see and almost gives the appearance that no matter what you put on top of this, it's not gonna sit totally flush. I can assure you that that is flush with the rest of the mod, so no matter what you put on top of this, it's going to sit flush. To show you that there is no gap underneath, that's a 24 on there and you see no light shining through the bottom. Your battery door is located right here on the side. Pull that off. And then there is an 18650 adapter if you don't have a 20 or 21700 to go inside of there. Not a bad adapter. Shits and pickles. Let's go with a vape cell 21700 first. I'm not being dramatic. That is extremely tight going in. Now, once it's in, you do have a little bit of wiggle room, but it's getting it past that initial snap. And then we have a 40T here. See that? And that's because of this contact right here, putting a little bit of pressure. They should have maybe made this one 
pressure so as you put it down here it slides in it's a tight one it fits i mean look at the clearance of that very very minuscule and then the sig there it is very tight that is not going to fall out the magnet on the bottom is much stronger than the magnets that are located on the side once you put this in here you can kind of feel the bottom snap in i mean it stays in you don't have to worry about it could be a little bit tighter or stronger i guess yeah ergonomics this thing is friggin' sound your squonk on the bottom eight mil squonk bottle inside of here kind of reminds me of the pulse bottle and then there is your connection so fitting other bottles in this may not be a problem but if they're taller than this they're not going to work because it goes to the bottom of the little adapter just like that and then there is your LED bar that's gonna light up on the side there edges are a little sharp I mean that is gonna be covered up and you're not gonna feel that with your hand so it's not that big of a deal painting could have been a little bit better on the inside there you could tell that it's a base black frame on the bottom there I don't know how well you can see that you see it so painting on the inside is not perfect the problem you have with white though is in due time of using this this will yellow and start to wear off now I don't have an extensive amount of time and experience with this type of rubber material the only time I have experience with it is in fact on a vapor shark but that's black so I can't really speak too much on that I really don't know what else you would use inside of this just because of the size configuration of it can't use a cap a I guess a Gremlin would work, but you would have to slide that all the way in. You go into the whole proprietary bottle configuration. Let's smell the inside of this. I always love a good smelling. Smells like a lovely brand new pair of shoes. Once again, that is the Watofo Recurve Box Mod. Let's bring it on the top. Bang, bang. All right, guys, back on the top with the Recurve Box Mod and the Cosmonaut sitting on the top of that. I know. I should have used the Recurve RDA, but I didn't want to, and let me explain why. The Recurve RDA is a single coil jammy. If I'm gonna use a mech or an unregulated where I only get a maximum of 4.2 volt, which is the battery, then why not put something low on it? That just makes sense. So what I got is a 0.13. Let me show you some vapor production. And a squonk. Okay, here's the deal. We're being honest, right? Like we're being straight up right now. I was going into this with let me find out as many mods as I could use as a comparison to rip this apart because I was under the impression that I wasn't gonna like this. And that's always, look, straight up, that's how I go into every single device. Even if it's something like Vicious Hand, I go into it with the idea and the mindset, this is gonna be a piece of shit, prove me wrong. You know, show me. Show me the money. I can't rip it apart because it's a 4.2 volt. It doesn't have a booster buck chip in it. It only has a chip that gives you safety precautionary measures. The way that it feels is rubbery, but a lot of people are gonna like that. And although it is very rubbery, it causes a good amount of grip on top of it being ergonomically friendly. Now we know that in all of my reviews, I always talk about how comfortable a mod is to hold in the hand. No matter what it is, uh, this isn't nice, this is good. This is not good. This sucks asshole. It's so difficult to find faults with this. The magnets could be a little bit stronger. They could have chose a different animal besides a penguin. micro USB is in a really shitty position. I don't think that any unregulated device should have a micro USB port. I really don't. If you're at a point where you have to charge this, then either you should get another battery and charge that at home on a proper charger. Okay, I got it. I found a negative. I got it. It's heavy for a single battery. But so is the feed link. But the feed link wasn't compatible with 21700s. People are saying that this reminds them of an oversized feed link or the mag. If you're going to use that same argument, you have to factor in the Incubus, which is one of the first mech mods that have that type of, for lack of better terms, gun grip handle. It can't be just the mag. You're, you have to factor. There's a lot of them. I saw this. I thought of the gloom, but the gloom is different because it doesn't have this groove here. It's real chunky up top, but it's a thumb fire. It's not an index finger. Ah, oh. and then you get into the trigger finger. I don't like firing mods like this. I don't give a shit what it is. I had the same problem with the box mod mafia. 
I got a right-handed version, which in my mind was designed for the left. Just because the placement of where my fingers were dictated whether or not I was gonna like that device, so I ordered it in the other hand. But the thing is, the way that the ergonomics is, is this just feels natural. Your pinky sits on the bottom. I don't have those banana sausage jammies. You know, I got a decent sized hand. You know what they say about big hands. Big gloves. It's basically a mech mod that you can charge. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Supports all size batteries, 18650, 2700s, 21700s, and even 2650s, which I feel like there's not a whole lot of people out there that are gonna use that battery, even for a device like this. Now, let me tell you a quick little story. I saw the black rendition of this before it was even released when I saw Mike Vapes for the first time at the Queen's Expo. And I was really impressed with how it felt. It was much more lighter, and I think that's because that was in Dell Renner plastic but then again i may be losing my damn mind and i didn't actually hold it but i'm pretty sure i did but it looked just like this the penguin is killing me i mean if you if you're into happy feet this is all for you i mean If I could remember the dance, I would do it right now. Micro USB on the top. I'm scared a little juice will get into that for people that are over dripping or over squonking with this type of device. I don't know what kind of coating they have on top of the chip of whether or not it's conductive or non-conductive or if there is even one. I just feel very uncomfortable with possibly getting juice inside of there. The trigger finger. Now this is designed solely for that, but it's a negative for me because I don't like to fire it. However, I have to re-give that point back out just because my hand is naturally holding it like that, so it's not like I have to search for it with my index finger. My finger just lays there. The magnets for the battery door on the bottom are very strong, but the magnets on the top, although too, aren't strong enough. Like you could just easily grab that and snap that away. They should be a little bit stronger. Guys, I am, I am reaching here. I am trying to find fucking everything. And me and Mike Vapes are cool, right? But we go on these skits where we don't talk for three, four months, and it is what it is. But when I shoot the shit with him, he responds, it's whatever. It's not like I have anything against him. It's just he knows when I get something, I have to find things wrong with this. I promise you right now, if you picked up this device and looked for problems, it's fucking hard, man. I mean, th this has got to be one of the hardest, not just unregulated devices, but devices in general to find faults with. It is heavy, but again, the way you hold it is just natural. Like I ride motorcycles, right? And anybody that rides motorcycles, especially when you're talking about, you know, nakeds like that one behind me or street fighters or super sports, primarily super sports, or even cruisers, it, it really doesn't matter what type of the field we're looking at when we're talking about motorcycles, but you search for one thing and one thing primarily is so important when you're going to buy a bike or you own a bike and that's ergonomics. This nails it, man. It really, really does. I was hoping that 25s would give me an overhang. I was hoping that the magnets were falling out and a piece of shit. I can't find nothing, man. I can't. I won't use the device because of the trigger finger solely, and I don't really use unregulated devices. And I'm not going to make the same mistake I made before of giving away, you know, the only one that I have just because, well, if later on down the road I have to show somebody what an unregulated squonk is, I want to be able to do that. You know, fun fact, there's 200 mods on the whole right side, left side, and whole center section, right? I don't have one unregulated squonk in that whole section. I have regulated mechs, potentiometers, but nothing unregulated. How awkward is that? And even for the way that I vape, I vape in the higher resistant tiers, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So a device like this isn't going to be optimal for me because I want to be able to adjust power. But for a majority of the people out there that do drip, that do squonk, they build on the lower tier. So this would be a perfect device. And it having safety features is a win. All the batteries that it can support are a win. The ergonomics are a win. The way it squonks is a win. You can't fit all the bottles in it. Same type of deal with the Tiny V2 or the Vicious Sand. Proprietary bottles I've just grown to accept. I really thought I wasn't gonna like this device. This goes to show you, I don't need to use a device to realize whether or not I like it. You give me five, 10 hits, okay, I like the way that feels, that's gonna be comfortable. You don't need to use something for six months to realize, okay, this is great, 
I love the way that that felt for the past six months. What the hell is gonna change? You gonna lose a fucking finger? Then of course it's gonna be uncomfortable. You start vaping with your toes. This is not toe friendly. I can promise you. I don't know many mods that are. Maybe if you rubber band some shit and you got a really long, big toe, you might be able to do the wrap around. If I was to rate this device on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a seven, 7.5. I wanted to give this a 3 or a 4 and possibly break it, but what can I fault it for? It's not the highest rating that I've ever given for an unregulated squonker, it's also not the highest that I've ever given for an actual unregulated device, but it is pretty damn high. I don't know what I rated the feed link, but I think it was pretty high as well because I like the way it feels, I like the way that it fired, but apparently my patrons were more important than my own self, and I gave it away to them, so now I don't have it, now I have to go down the road to go buy it, or go buy another one, but I guess I don't because I have this. It is a little bit heavy, the micro USB is in a tacky place and it has a micro USB. And for that, I'm gonna take two, two and a half points away. That's the best that I got, man. I really wish the magnets fell out and I opened up all the boxes. None of them were faulty. One more thing worth mentioning is I always mention about, you know, this is only output in five volts or this is only output in six volts. You have to understand, treat this like a Mac because that's basically what it is. There is no adjustment. So before you comment down below, why didn't you hate that device? It's because it's not a regulated device. That's why I can't rip this apart for the voltage that it's outputting. It's only giving me what the battery is, and that's tested. It's not me just winging it, right? Like, I, I know how to test. If you don't think I know how to test, I'm gonna give you a link to right there. So it does output the voltage that the battery is at. It's off a little bit, one-tenth of what the voltage of the battery is. So we're gonna run with that. Seven, 7.5. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jesus.